Good morning, and welcome to You Be the Judge. Uh, in our series, Faces and Fracking, uh, we've talked about Susquehanna County and the problems they've had around Dimmick uh, and the people in Bradford County and the problems that they've had. Well, in 2012, our folks who live in Gasland will have an opportunity to say yes or no to a state government that is not taking seriously their responsibility to regulate an industry that can cause horrible, horrible damage to our environment. Our guest today is a young man from Great Bend, Pennsylvania, who in fact believes very strongly that the state of Pennsylvania has a responsibility to regulate uh, the gas drilling industry and hopes to have something to say about those regulations. He's a candidate for a state representative in the newly formed 111th legislative district. Uh, and uh, his district will cover Susquehanna and Wayne County. One county with gas drilling, another county presently under moratorium. Let me introduce you to our guest, uh, Jeff Dahlander. Yes. And Jeff, thank you so much for thank appearing you so much on the for, show. Thanks for and having me. Thanks for caring enough about our community to uh, put your name on the ballot and speak up and speak out about what's going on in your neck of the woods. Absolutely. Uh, Jeff, you're from? I'm from, uh, well, I grew up in Susquehanna County. I uh, was born uh, in Binghamton, New York, obviously, and then spent my first two years in Great Bend, uh, where I currently live now. Um, lived most of my life in New Melford, Pennsylvania. Um, and I, I, Susquehanna County is my home. You've spent uh, a number of years uh, in higher education, working at uh, a number of great universities uh, in Chicago and Boston and New York. Uh, lived in great urban centers, uh, three of the greatest cities in, 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 in the world, I think. Uh, and you chose to come home to Susquehanna County. Why? Well, I had an uh, opportunity here to work uh, locally. Um, I had an opportunity um, to be near my family, uh, my father, my mother, uh, my sister, and my niece and two nephews. Um, so the, the desire to be near my family is probably the most important thing. Now, when I came back and saw what was happening in the area, um, it sent a chill down my spine. It certainly wasn't the Pennsylvania, it wasn't the Susquehanna County that I left 10 years ago. You know, I spend hours every week driving the back roads of Bradford County. We have an office up in Tawanda. Uh, I spend a great deal of time up in the Mount Rose, Dimmick, Brooklyn area. Uh, I've seen the heartbreak of the people there. And if there's one thing that I've learned since I've become involved in advocating for people whose water has been contaminated and whose lives have been upset. It's that our government seems to be failing us. Uh, did you decide to talk to the state representative who represents Susquehanna County before you chose to announce your candidacy? Absolutely. Uh, I would say about a year and a half ago, I, um, there was an article in one of the local newspapers, whether it be Binghamton or Scranton, and it talked about um, but there's a quote from a Cornell professor saying that Pennsylvania is the guinea pig for oil and gas. Um, so that caused me a lot of concern. Why is where I'm living, my representative, allowing me and my community being, to be called a guinea pig? So I brought that paper to her office, scheduled an appointment first, of course. Um, she folded up the newspaper and said, you can't believe everything that you read. And I think right about there, I knew the conversation wasn't going any further. Um, and when I left the office, I thought, well, what is, what is the truth? So, you know, I think at that point, as a citizen, if you can't get an answer from your representative, you go and seek other truths. So reading as much information as I can from alternate sources, reaching out to fracking, anti-fracking organizations to find out what information they have. Um, it's for an average citizen to figure out exactly what's going on with the oil and gas industry, it's impossible. And at that point, I thought, my representative should know. It sh I never cease to be amazed, Jeff, that when I watch TV, I see millions and millions of dollars spent by the oil and gas industry with these wonderful commercials showing how energy independence is going to help us and how clean energy can be developed from 5,000 feet below the surface. They don't want to spend 
any money helping the people whose wells they have polluted. Uh, the people in Dimmick in Susquehanna County whose wells have been polluted have been, have been nothing but a punching bag for the industry. And it's, it's outrageous. Uh, when we come back, I want to talk to you a little bit about the difference between the two counties that you hope to represent. Susquehanna County, which is one of the most heavily drilled counties in the state, and Wayne County, which is under moratorium. So stay tuned to this very important show of You Be the Judge. I'm Todd O'Malley with the law offices of O'Malley and Langen. If I say accident, what do you think? Car crash? Falling down the steps? Unexpected events. People don't realize most of these accidents aren't really accidents. They're injuries caused by careless third parties. So if you've been hurt at work, call O'Malley and Langen. 1-800-817-COMP. 1-800-817-2667.